Hey guys, it's me and I'm here today to do another period video. So for today's video, I'm super excited to review something that a lot of you guys have been asking me to do and it's another product which I thought that I would never try in a million gazillion years. Like it's something that I was like, absolutely not. But just like every other product I have tried, I am eating my words and I am actually really excited that I did try this product. So today I am sharing with you guys what I thought about sea sponges. If you're not familiar with sea sponges, they are actually animals. I looked it up everywhere and technically they are animals. They live in the sea. Back in the day, like the early, early well, yeah, years and years and years ago, before we had synthetic sponges and before we had synthetic, you know, other types of things to use for tampons, uh, sea sponges were used as actual sponges to, you know, wash things. They were used to paint things. Uh, they were used as uh, contraceptives even and also to, they were used as menstrual products. So sea sponges are now harvested, um, they're grown under the sea and then they are clipped and then cleaned and then they go through all these processes and stuff for you to buy. Uh, there are many uses for sea sponges that people still use them for. I actually talked to my friend's boyfriend and he said that in the car industry like sea sponges are used a lot to clean cars because they're so soft and they're you know biodegradable and they're reusable and all of those good things. Uh, they can also be used in a replacement for a beauty blender which I did try it out today to see I used clean ones that had never been in my vagina uh, but I did try to see you know how they compare to a beauty blender and I actually I have to say I did like them I used the bigger one to uh, put my foundation on and then I used the smaller one to apply my concealer underneath my eyes or to like pat it in and I actually really liked it uh, the nice thing about these for makeup application is the fact that even though they are a sponge unlike the beauty blender they do not soak up your product so you don't waste as much product when you use it even though it brings soaks up some of it every single time you pat it back into your face it replaces the product so I hardly had any product on the sponge after I was actually done using it but it it blended in all of my makeup just as well as the beauty blender so I thought that was pretty cool yeah and people still use them for menstrual products and also for contraceptive I did not test it out as a contraceptive and honestly I would not suggest them as a contraceptive uh, even though that they have been known to be used useful for a contraceptive. They've also been known to not work as a contraceptive because they are very porous material and they have lots of holes in them and there's no spermicide in them and all of those things. Obviously there are still chances of those little guys swimming their way through and knocking you up. So I would not maybe suggest these as a contraceptive unless you are willing to say, well, if it happens, it happens. I'm pregnant. Whoops. It's okay. Maybe then you can. But if you're really trying to not have kids 100%, I would put the sponges away and not use them for that. If you're interested in these as a menstrual product, oh my gosh, well you'll see in my review, they are worth looking into. So if you're new to my channel and you're new to this series and you're not familiar with the way that I do these videos, I basically show you day to day my period. I use the product, I show you them, blood and gore and all of that, like I show you everything. And again, if you've watched my videos, you know it's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm kind of over it, I'm like, here's my blood. This is me, take it or leave it. But that is what I show in these upcoming clips. So I will say that if you do not want to see any blood, if you not, do not want to hear any of those types of things or see those types of things, I will leave a link for you underneath this video uh, for you to skip to the end part where I talk about kind of my final thoughts, my review, what I, how I feel about them, that kind of thing. Um, also, these videos do tend to be a little bit long-winded because that's just who I am, that's my personality, that's how I've always been. And if you're not interested in that either, check out the link below um, or you know there are tons of other videos probably everywhere talking about sea sponges as well so you can always check those out but what I bring to you is a first-time experience a real-life first-time experience showing you guys how I use this how I kind of figured out how to function with them on the day-to-day -day while on my period do you also want to say a disclaimer that I'm not a medical professional I'm not someone that you should be like okay because she used it I should use it you know her word is gold if you are concerned about trying a new reusable menstrual product especially something like a sea sponge because they are, you know, kind of, there's conflicting 
There's conflicting people who say, there's some people who say you shouldn't use them because they throw off the pH balance of your vagina. There's some people who say that there could be sand and grit in them which can throw off your pH balance and blah, 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 blah. But then there are also those people who really, really love them, think that they're great for the environment because they are 100% biodegradable so you can just throw them in your compost or throw them in your flower bed and they'll just wilt away so there's no waste whatsoever. You know, so there's a lot of people who really love them and even medical professionals who really love them. My mom is a nurse practitioner at OBJN. I grew up knowing her using only these. She loved them. I remember them sitting next to her sink and her using them and I remember watching her even squeeze them out but not really comprehending what she was squeezing out. I just was like, oh, it's just red stuff going in the sink, you know, that kind of thing. So my mom, you know, she loved them, used them for years. I had no problem with them. She encouraged me to try them and that kind of thing. But then again, there are those people who just like with Diva Cups and reusable tampons and reusable pads are going to be like, no, you shouldn't use that. So use your smarts, your smart women out there, your smart men, whoever is watching this video. I know you have brains of your own, so use them. Figure out if this is the best thing for you to try. If it's not, then don't do it. If you want to, great. Um, this is just my experience with them and how I handled them. But if you want to get this pack, I will leave a link to that underneath this video. I got them from a wonderful reusable menstrual product store, which I think you guys should all go check out. It's called ilovegenerationme.com. I will actually have a full like menstrual product haul from that store in a later video. Hopefully it'll be up in a few days. I will link it below if it's up already but she sent me just like a ton of cups and a ton of different other things but her store is so neat she has so many different products and she does sell these sponges I got all five of these for free from her just to review she was super nice to help me with that um, but you can buy this you know this many for I think like $22 so it's super affordable so if you want to see how I did with these for my period keep watching if you don't again click the link below and skip to the end but I will be back after the clips to kind of share with you guys how I feel about these All right, guys, so it is Wednesday and it is 3.52, uh, November 23rd, day before Thanksgiving. I didn't think I would start my period until tomorrow, so I was totally unprepared, but oh well. Um, thankfully, the sponges, all I needed to do to get them prepared was uh, soak them for five minutes in warm water with either a tablespoon of vinegar or a tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide. Basically, it says thoroughly rinse and squeeze out excess water. Your sponge is now ready to use. Pretty simple. Uh, sponges should be completely dry before storage, which is fine. I'm doing all of them at once with the soaking with the vinegar solution. I'm going to squeeze them out and then lay them out on a towel, the ones I'm not using, and let those dry. It says if, you're, if your sponge begins to show stain and discoloration after you soak in warm water and hydrogen peroxide. Uh, and then it says when your sponge begins to fall apart, stop using it and throw it in your compost compost bin for a truly waste-free product. You can trim these down to whatever size you need, but there are five different sizes, so I don't think I'm going to have to do that. It says trim any loose pieces of sponge before use. It says trimming the sponge will reduce is its absorption. So, so I think the idea is to better maybe just get this variety pack so that we don't have to trim them down. You can just use them for whatever uh, thing you need. But it does say do not boil or bleach your sponge. These are supposed to basically be treated like tampons. You know, you just want to reduce your TSS risk and all of that. And also, you know, they aren't like the cup. They will eventually start leaking after their absorption level is up there. So you're supposed to um, wear these kind of wet. Like you're supposed to get them wet and then squeeze them out and then put them in you. You're not supposed to insert them dry. So I'm going to give this a good squeezing out. These are really soft. Like they are really soft sponges. So this is what it looks like. This is day one of my period. I actually ruined a pair of underwear. I've been crazy running around my house trying to get everything prepared for tomorrow's Thanksgiving because we're having people come. And I'm just like, everything's so crazy right now. So yeah, I didn't notice that I'd start my period. So I'm changing my underwear as well because... Yeah, that happened. I'm at the like beginning spotting discharge dark brown stage of my period, day one, of course. I'm gonna use my uh, Super Soaker Amazon bought pad just because it's got a white inside just to show if it does start leaking. But So to basically put this in, you just squeeze it really small and then you just shove it up there. This is smaller than the cup, so obviously it's gonna fit up my hoo-ha and just leave it up there. So I'm gonna real quick insert it up my vagina. <laughs> And you just kind of, oh, that went really, that went up there pretty darn easily. And then it just expands and kind of conforms to your body. I literally don't feel it. It went up super easy, so I'm not really concerned about that. That, that was actually really nice. It went up there really easily, and I can kind of feel it inflate a little bit. Not inflate, but kind of, you know, open up a little bit, but I don't feel it at all. So I'm going to leave that in for three hours, and then I'm going to check in on it and see how it does. Uh, again, this is, you know, spotting. 
not really super heavy right now and I've been I mean the last you guys will know you if you've watched my videos I've been starting my periods like halfway through the day so, so I'm gonna go get back to cleaning my house and painting all the touch-up spots that I need to paint before all of my family and in-laws come so ah! it's 703 it's been exactly four hours since I put this in I'm gonna pull it out and show you guys <laughs> there's been no leaking whatsoever on the pad so that's a good thing oh. Oh, that's not bad. So like I mentioned before, I am just spotting. Obviously my flow is not that heavy. You can see some bright blood, you can see some dark blood. But I mean, it stopped all of it. That's pretty cool. There's like, I don't know what stopped all of it. I'll show you rinsing it out with a heavier one, but I'm just gonna rinse this out real quick. So there it is, all clean. Um, it rinsed out really easily. I like that it's easier to rinse this thing out than the tampons. Like literally I just squeezed all the stuff out and like kept, you know, running underwater and squeezing it. There was a little bit of like clotty, mucusy stuff on it. Like it was a little bit slimy. So I just kept, you know, just squeezing it and rinsing it gently. You want to be careful not to like get too rough with it because you don't want it to start falling apart prematurely. Um, but it's, yeah, so I'm going to stick it back up. That's all you do, stick it back up and wait another four hours and check in and show you guys where I'm at then. It's 11.37 and this is gonna be my last check-in with the sponge tonight because I'm gonna go to bed after I get done cleaning up. I didn't have any leaking whatsoever and I will just go ahead and say that this thing is super comfortable. I didn't feel it at all while I was wearing it. I didn't feel it moving around, I didn't feel it falling, I didn't feel anything really. It's very comfortable to get in and it's very comfortable to pull out because it is already pre-moistened by that water. It actually is way more comfortable comfortable to wear uh, versus like a tampon during the stage where it's like still kind of dry and you're kind of spotting and when you rip it out it's half dry and then it feels like sandpaper you know scraping against you. Uh, this it just came in and out really really nicely that's what she said. It's really actually quite comfortable and I didn't have any leaking so this is what it looks like. Like I said very light bleeding it looks like I do still have some like mucusy stuff on it but yeah, pretty, pretty comfortable. So I'm gonna rinse this out real quick and I will probably soak it for five minutes in hydrogen peroxide and water um, and then squeeze it out and let it dry overnight before I use it again. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Good morning guys, it is 8.30, 8.40, almost nine. I don't know, it's almost, I think, no, it is almost nine o'clock in the morning. It's Thanksgiving. I slept in uh, just an over, that overnight pad last night and it did really well. I didn't leak over. I am bleeding more as we speak. So I'm gonna wet this down, squeeze it, and then put it up there. And then I will check in with you guys in about three to four hours. It's gonna be super awkward because my in-laws will be here. So we'll try to figure that out. All right guys, so it's 11.52. It's been about three hours. I'm whispering because my in-laws are downstairs right now. <laughs> I don't know how to explain these videos to them. Um, I thought I hit record, but apparently I wasn't recording, so I already kind of talked about this, but I already pulled my sea sponge out, and look how much blood's in there. I'm definitely bleeding heavier. It did its job. So I am spotting a little bit in my thing's underwear right now. Not a lot, but enough that, you know, it's spotting. So uh, yeah, so I came up here to change it, but look how much blood it, look how much blood it got. So I'm gonna rinse this out, and I'll show you guys how I rinse it out. how clean it got. So I'm gonna put this back in and I'll check it in a few more hours. So it is 414. Can you see that? It's 414. I'm stuffed. I just ate a lot of food. Um, my in-laws have left so I can speak in a normal voice because my family all knows that I'm crazy and I'm doing these videos so I don't really need to hide that from them. Uh, but so let's see the last check-in was at I don't remember. You guys know but it's been quite a it's been quite a while. When was my last check-in? Was that at noon? Yeah, so it was four hours ago. I think it was at noon. Okay, so I was definitely leaking a little bit into my thing's underwear, so I would definitely say always wear something with these unless you're super light bleeding like I was yesterday. Um, it's pretty well soaked. They're super comfortable. I forgot that I was wearing it. Uh, I love how easily it rinses out. Like, it's pretty amazing. So I'm gonna rinse this out and put it back in and go about my business for another four hours. Like I said, I did have a little bit of linking into my thing's underwear, but it's only like a little bit of spotting so I can continue wearing underwear and uh, 
yeah, I have no complaints so far about this sponge. It's 6.34, so it's only been about two and a half hours since my last check-in, but I am going to real quick squeeze the blood out, milk the cow. I'm just going to the bathroom anyways to go pee, so I thought I would just check in on the sponge and see how it's doing. So I've been kind of sitting a lot. I haven't really been standing on my feet since we ate dinner and I finished putting away all the dishes and stuff from Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, so it's really not as soaked as it was before. So that's pretty cool. Again, didn't really feel anything. I don't know, I feel like there's really not much more to say about this sponge because I don't really have any complaints. I'll put it back in, I'll do one more check-in for today and, it, and yeah. I like the sponge though, it's really comfortable. So I am exhausted. I just finished cleaning up the house from all the festivities. Ooh, I almost had like a nip slip there. <laughs> I'm not wearing a bra right now because it's bras off when everybody leaves. Uh, it's 11 something p.m. right now, so it's been four hours about, right? Checked in at seven, does that sound right? So I'm gonna pull my sponge out and do my last update for tonight because I'm gonna go to bed after I uh, go to the bathroom and do this. My husband's creeping, I think. John? What are you doing? You wanna see what my sponge looks like? I take that as a no. All right, I'm pulling it out. Why are you peeking? Oh, it's up there this time. Gotta get it, okay. So it looks like I'm like, that's really dark. I wonder, I don't know what's going on with my period. That's like really dark, but uh, it's not as soaked as the first one of the day was, and I've been on my feet because I've been cleaning up the house and running around. Um, I just realized my nails are painted red, and that's pretty fitting for this review. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Are you looking? What are you doing, John? I'm just standing here with a bloody sponge and my husband's sitting on the stairs. <laughs> So it is like, I don't know, sometime in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm bleeding kind of dark blood. I don't know. I, like I told you guys, since I switched to all natural products, my period is like really light now. It's not very like long lasting and honestly I don't really have like super super heavy days like I used to. So I don't know. So I decided that I'm going to try the biggest sponge out of all of them. Only because if I'm going to have a heavy heavy day, today is going to be the day that it's heavy. Uh, if it's not heavy then my period might be on its way out. This is day three. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna try this one to see if I can go the entire four hours without any leaking at my heaviest today. Uh, I know it looks really big, but hold on. After I wet it down, it squeezes up to be quite small, as you can see. Well, small for me. Like, I'm used to using super absorbent tampons. So I'm gonna try this. I just wet it down, obviously, and I'm just gonna smush it up real nice like that and I'm gonna throw it in there or shove it in there. I feel so bad. Like this used to be an animal and I'm putting it in my vagina. Poor thing. But yeah, so I'm gonna put this up there and I'm gonna take a shower and then I'll check it in about four hours. It's one o'clock. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Little startling. Lots of dark, dark blood. I think this is towards the end of my period. It's heavier and it's more clotty and it's super dark, but I had a little bit of spotting, just a tiny bit of spotting on my Thinx underwear, but not a big deal. All right, I shoved it back up there and I will check in in a few more hours. All right, so as you can see, I kind of cut out there. I didn't finish out my entire period for a few different reasons. One, because I had guests here at my house uh, for the weekend, so I kind of got a little bit distracted. But before that even happened, I had already decided that I was gonna stop doing updates because they were honestly the same thing over and over again. There wasn't really anything new to share with you guys or show you, and my period got super light. My period right now is done. I literally had one that first day where I wore it, and it was like a little bit of spotting light bleeding then the second day was like moderate bleeding same with the overnights and then the third day I was back to spotting again and the fourth day my period was done so this I would have to say was my easiest and lightest period I have ever had like I've mentioned in my other videos my periods have gotten super manageable super comfortable super light since I started using all natural products and nothing else. When I was using these this past period, I was either using my Thinx underwear during the day or I was sleeping in my reusable pads that I had bought on Amazon. So I didn't use a single 
disposable product whatsoever. And I gotta say guys, like my period has just like, like this last period was like my unicorn period. It was like a magical experience where I'm just like, Oh my god, like why were you so easy? It kind of scares me like am I going through menopause? Like that was the first thought in my head when my period was like teetering off after only day two and a half. So yeah, um, as you guys know, I do have endometriosis. So I have struggled with heavy, heavy, super bleeding, like gushing, ruining clothing, ruining like bed sheets, um, embarrassing myself in the middle of junior high, bleeding all over the cafeteria seats. Like I've gone through so many painful, painful and heavy periods. So the fact that I'm at this point where I just shared with you guys a three day period, I'm like, my mind is blown. So. If you hadn't noticed already, I do actually really love these sea sponges. I think they're really great. In regards to advantages, the fact that they're reusable, that's a huge advantage. The fact that they're super affordable, that's a huge advantage. And the fact that they're biodegradable and there's no waste afterwards, that just is awesome. The fact that they are bleach free, chemical free, you know, toxic free, all of that, like that is just amazing. So I love these for all those reasons. I love how convenient they are in regards to when you're at home. All you have to do is just take them out, rinse them out, squeeze them a few times, put it back in. The cleaning them, super easy. You just soak them in hydrogen peroxide and water for like five to 10 minutes and then you squeeze them out and let them dry. The fact that for all those reasons, like I absolutely absolutely love these things the one thing that I would say would be a disadvantage and it's more of just like an inconvenience and it's something that might not affect everybody um, for me I really think I could get over this disadvantage but it would be using them out in public so while I was on my period using these I did go out in public I had no problem with that but when I went out in public, I was only out for a couple hours at a time and I was wearing my Thinks underwear so I knew like, okay, if I start bleeding through my sponge, my underwear will catch it or my pad will catch it, that kind of thing. It's not a big deal. I can make it home safely. But if I were out all day long and I had, you know, was bleeding really, really heavy and stuff and I did have to squeeze this out in public, that would be the inconvenience that um, either some of you are like, not gonna do it at all or some of you would have to learn to get over I think I could get over it I was talking to my mom about it because like I said she used these for a long time and I asked her what you did out in public and she said what she would do is she would take a wet paper towel in the stall just like you would do with the diva cup and she would you know take her sponge out and she would actually just squeeze it out with her hand over the toilet take the wet paper towel wipe off the blood off her hands and then discreetly go to the sink and then wash her hands now I know a lot of you guys are probably like oh my god like why would you do that that it's your period blood like blah. but honestly that's what I was just doing in the sink you know the only difference was there was water there and honestly it's my blood and I've had my hand in my dog's poop I've had my hand in all of my kids's poop so it's just kind of like what you know what's a little bit of blood for a few minutes until I get to the sink so um, you could also have like wet wipes I know a lot of people carry wet wipes in their diaper bags or in their purses or things like that you could carry those discreetly and use that to wipe your hands after you squeeze out the sponge into the toilet but you know, so that is something that you could get over and that is something that you can do to use these out in public. But again, for some of you, I can already hear it and like, I can already like sense the comments that are gonna come, which is, oh my God, I would never do that in a thousand years, that's so disgusting. So for some of you, that would be an inconvenience and a deal breaker, but I know for a lot of you, I think a lot of you would be able to get past that. If you're like me, you'd be able to get past that and find a way to use them out in public if you really wanted to. So. I will say that that's the only disadvantage that I could even really maybe even come up with. The other disadvantage that I could see is just the fact that unlike the Diva Cup, you know, the menstrual cup, you do have to replace these eventually. Granted, they are a lot more affordable and a lot healthier than tampons and you're wasting less in regards to the environment, um, but eventually they do start to degrade. Eventually, you know, you do need to replace them every like two to three, three to four months. It just depends on your usage, you know, and how well they're, you know, withstanding. When you start to see them fall apart or loose ends, you can trim off the loose ends and stuff like that. But when they start like falling apart, that's when you know you need to get rid of them. These are really the two that I ended up using. These were a little bit too small. This one I don't really understand. Like that thing like my vagina would eat this for dinner like this is like this is like a little snack for my vagina right here this little this little niblet it's a little nugget uh, so this one I didn't really understand so that's why I used it as my concealer blotter um, and then this one too was a little bit too small but I guess I heard that some people can like pack multiple like if you're having a heavy day and you have like this size and this size you could just like pack both of them in there but again I had a lot of trouble getting the smaller one out you know the tendency I think for tampons is to shove it as far as up there as you can get it same with the cup but these you kind of just want to put it in past like the hilt or whatever it's called it little like 
nub. I don't know if everybody has the same type of vagina, but you know the little part, you like your pelvic bone, you just want to put it past there a little bit so you can still grab it easily. But if you want to be able to get them easily out from your vagina and you don't want to just be like searching for gold up there with your fingers, you can always get some dental floss and twine, um, and then sew that, like string it through the sponge I heard and then tie the end so it's like a little loop and then that makes it really easy to grab to get out as well. I really like these for using the restroom because I didn't have to worry about a string or moving it or peeing on it or anything like that. I also really love this for taking a shower because for me when I would be on my period you know I'd have my pad on at night and in the morning I'd put a tampon in so that way I could get in the shower take a shower and not worry about bleeding and get out and you know pat my body down and walk around the house and get dressed and stuff like that without worrying about leaking down my legs because I was a super heavy bleeder at the time um, so I would do that but then my tampon string would be soaking wet so I really like that I could just put these up there in the morning jump in the shower get out and not have like a wet string kind of sloshing about between my thighs you know or when I put my underwear on or my jeans so I did really like these I really had no issues with them again the only inconvenience I would think would be the restroom thing but that's honestly something you'd have to deal with with a menstrual cup too anyways you know is dumping it in there and wiping your hands or things like that and again there are ways to get around that you know if you know you're gonna be gone all day long and you're gonna be using a reusable product like this or something else that might get your hand a little bit bloody you know just take a little pack of baby wipes they make these really small pampers like like really tiny sleeves that you can buy for really cheap at like Target I think but you can just shove one of those in your purse discreetly or just get like a little Ziploc bag and put a little bit of wet wipes or wet ones in there and just you, you know just have a little Ziploc bag full of them they don't take up that much space and then just pull it out wipe your hand off and then get out to the sink and wash your hands discreetly like nobody needs to know and it's your own bodily fluids like I think that's the biggest thing that I think freaks people out is they're like oh my god I don't want to touch my own period blood but it's your own period blood it's just it's like it's yours I'm not asking you to squeeze out your neighbors like it's yours so you know so you know if you can get past all that I don't see why there's any reason not to use these I really really like them again there are conflicting things out there people say that they're bad for you this and that whatever <laughs> But you know what? So is everything in life. Everything causes you to have cancer. Everything is, like, too much of anything is a bad thing. Like, you know, like, what? Well, I don't know. So use your own brains, like I said, in deciding whether or not you want to use these. But honestly, I really, really like them. I'm a believer. All those times when I watched my mom use them, I now see why she liked them so much. The funny thing is that, as you can see, you're looking at these. This one's like the dingier, dirty one, these two. These are the ones that I used my makeup on and tried to clean the makeup out of, which didn't, you know, I rinsed them and just tried to get the makeup out of and they're still in there. These are the ones that I used for my period and these are like super clean and like you can't even tell they've been used. I think that they're a great option for people who maybe can't use tampons because you know they're allergic to them or like me they don't want those chemicals in them um, or who don't like the string hanging or who want to find a non wasteful product again these like there's no trash from these unlike with tampons where you have the plastic wrapper you have the tampon itself even you know the organic Cora tampons that I use still had applicators that you were throwing away and wrappers that you were throwing away you know these don't have any of that and they just biodegrade into the ground and or your compost and I think that's pretty great. So I really like these. Are they for everybody? Probably not. But so that's the same thing with everything else on my channel. And it's the same thing with, you know, all the products I've talked about. Some people like them, some people don't. That's just how it is. But this is my first time experience with them and what my thoughts were on them. And I have really no complaints over them at all. I love them. If anything, they're way too comfortable and you forget that you have them in. There you have it. There is my review of the sea sponges. I hope you guys enjoyed and check them out. Even if you want to just use them as makeup applicators because they're way cheaper than the Beauty Blender, you can get like five of them for the price of the Beauty Blender, which is like... 20 I think something dollars whereas this five pack was $22 they work for makeup application or if you want something for your car to clean it obviously don't get these small ones for your car to clean but you can you know buy other ones online if you have any questions I'm not a professional please keep that in mind um, but you can leave those below I know that this this these videos have kind of spawned this great community of people just kind of like answering each other's questions in the uh, 
comments section. I think that's great. Like I love it when women can come together with a common mind and just, you know, help each other out and answer each other's questions and support each other and relate to each other and uh, things like that. So, you know, if you leave your question down below, I might not be able to get back to it or not know the answer, but there might be somebody else who does. Uh, and yeah, if you like videos like this, please let me know. You know, I don't know what you guys like unless you tell me. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. I upload two to three new videos every week unless there's a holiday or a kid emergency. They're not always about period products, but they're just about things that I love or my life or day in the life, that kind of thing. I will be bringing you more and more and more and more and more period product reviews, of course. And yeah, I also have that haul video, which again, hopefully will be up in a few days. If you're watching this video the day I upload it, it won't be up for a few more days. But if you are a few days behind on this, getting into this video, then it will probably already be up. And if it is, I'll link that below. The playlist for all of my reviews and this whole entire period series is also listed below, so check that out. And also, ilovegenerationme.com's link will be below if you are looking for some affordable, amazing, reusable menstrual products. The woman who runs the store is super kind. She is the sweetest family, and I hope that you guys can go over there and support her. I am not being paid to mention her store. She's just been so kind to collaborate with me and provide me with products so that I can keep bringing these videos to you guys. So thank you guys for watching as always, and I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.